I'm Lauren DeSantis and this is Capital Cooking. Today we have a really exciting show for you today because we are here with two very special people. My Aunt Linda and my mom. who are both visiting in town from St. Louis. We are going to be making some of our favorite family recipes and we're going to share the secrets with you. We're going to start off with our Cosmopolitan cocktail. Mm. After that, I'm going to make my Nana's Popeye pills. Following that, my mom's going to make her famous chicken duchess recipe. And after that, my Aunt Linda's going to make her blue ribbon carrot cake. This is a show you don't want to miss. It's Capital Cooking Time. I'm Lauren DeSantis and this is Capital Cooking. Alright, now it's time to make Chicken Duchess, and this is one of my mom's recipes that she's done for years, and it's always been one of my favorites, and um, we're going to start by pounding out our chicken, right? Right, uh-huh. Pound out the chicken breast. You want it really flat so that it cooks evenly. You want it to be an even flatness. And I put it between two pieces of plastic wrap so you can see what you're doing. So I have one pounded out already, and here's our second one pounded out. So we're going to take the plastic off, kind of push your pieces together, and we have one slice of mozzarella cheese and one slice of provolone. You can use Swiss, you can use Fantina, you know, whatever your favorite cheeses are. We're going to put those in inside of the chicken. Now, we use a half a cup of ricotta cheese, and uh, that's for four chicken breasts, I mean four roll-ups. We take one half a cup, one egg yolk. Um, we use a, an egg and milk wash to dip the chicken in later, so I use the we egg the yolk, and then I take the, the, the white for the wash. Right. I take the, and add it to my wash, just adds a little more, and then one teaspoon tablespoon of Parmesan cheese. And then we mix this up. I'm going to get our pan beaten up. Okay. Because after we roll these and dip them, we're going to saute them in uh, butter. And then we put a spoonful on each breast in the center. We have some toothpicks Ready, because after we roll them, we have to put toothpicks in to hold them together. So, we're going to go ahead and start rolling these. It's kind of messy. Tuck your uh, sides in so the cheese stays in. There we go. Okay. Now I take a toothpick, and wherever I think I need one, I shove one in. We're going to pull them out after we're done cooking. But we want it to stay together so the cheeses stay inside. Now we're going to roll them in flour. I, I say start with a cup and a half of flour on a, a nice flat surface. I'm going to roll it around. Make sure it's evenly coated. Now we're not using salt on this because the Parmesan cheese that we added is going to add a lot of salt. Plus we also are adding um, some cracker uh, I take uh, one whole crackers. bowl of uh, crackers, party type crackers, not saltine, and uh, I use them as my breading, my coating, and so what I do is I roll them out in a little Ziploc bag, I crunch them up and roll them out with a rolling pin, and uh, that's your coating for your chicken. Okay? In this right. egg yeah. wash, it's one egg and about three quarters cup of a milk of milk and then I use the other egg white in there and you take a fork and mix it up and, and so you want to make sure that you're browning all sides of your chicken before uh, we stick it into the oven so you can do it in a little um, assembly line and this can be fun for kids 
because I get to do that. Yeah, it's a nice little station. Yeah. And everybody has a job. We're doing it all nice and neat here. But I use my hands. <laughs> when it comes down to it, I pick these things up with my hands and dip. But we're doing some nice and neat here today. Then your fingers don't get messy. Then your fingers don't get all messy. But I just keep washing. Make sure each end. And then it goes. After we brown them, then we put them in a 13 by 9 casserole dish and we're going to bake them at 350 for 20 minutes. While they're baking, we'll be making a white um, cream sauce, white wine cream sauce, top them. Awesome, and they taste great. We can be laying over a bed of rice and pour the sauce over it. It's awesome. I've served it with mashed potatoes, asparagus. I've served it with everything, but it seems like the rice is a nice bed for it. And so once they brown on all sides, this is what they look like. You can freeze these as well, right? Oh, they freeze great. After you do get to this point, you can go ahead and take them and put them in a casserole dish or just actually put them in a Ziploc bag after they've cooled and freeze them. And then all you have to do is pop them in the oven at 350, but add an additional 10 minutes. Here's what here we go. So now that we have all these prepared, we're going to slide them into the oven. Can open that one. Uh -huh. And then we're just going to bake them for 20 minutes. And when they're all ready, we're going to have a really great uh, white sauce topping. Chicken smells so good. It just came out of the oven. And now we're going to do the sauce that we're going to pour on top. Let's start, Mom. What do we do? Um, we're going to take, I'm going to double the recipe. It's usually just two tablespoons of butter, but I'm doubling it because we've made so many breasts. So I'm going to use four tablespoons of butter. And in that, mm, I'm going to add one teaspoon of minced garlic. After the butter is a little bit melted, we're going to stick our garlic in. you got to be careful with your garlic so it doesn't burn. Right. We're going to actually make a roux. We're going to add four tablespoons of flour next. After our butter is melted, is it melted? Yep. Okay. And we're going to add our four tablespoons of flour. And we're making a roux. Now I'm using, I like to use personally half and half. So I only used three quarters cup of half and half and the rest was um, 2% milk, but it's usually just one cup of milk, two tablespoons of butter, two tablespoons of flour, okay. and then one cup of milk. And when you slowly pour this in, because it starts to thicken, and you don't want to pour it in too fast because it'll get lumpy. Now we've used unsalted butter, so we are going to have to salt this. I'll wait till she whisks that up to get all the lumps out of it. It's getting nice and thick. Okay, I'm going to add some more. And, um, you know, if, it, if it's a little too thick, then add just a little bit more milk. When do we add the wine in? Oh, we're going to add that next. Uh, recipe calls for two tablespoons. I just kind of give it a pour. We're going to stir that till it kind of thickens. And while it's thickening, I'm going to go ahead and start putting some salt in. And I'm going to put some pepper in. Fresh ground pepper and mm. great flavor. Now I'm going to go ahead and add a dash of wine. And we're going to wait till that thickens a little bit. Just a minute. We're going to get flour. I mean, that spoon kind of drizzle it over the top. Okay. Mmm, this is delicious. Mmm. And there you have it. Chicken Duchess. 